let's unpack this. <clears throat> so the family came home to the house where there had nothing in there anymore. Yeah. Why? I don't know. And why was he in his boxers? I don't know why he was in his boxers. That's what I said. I the, the first thing I said. I said. Did, so, did you ask him why? Why didn't you ask him? I I did. I was like, "Where are your pants?" <laughs> That's oh, the first. he knew you were there. Yeah. See, now that you say it like that, hey, I'm telling you, he knew some young young buck was over there. <laughs> we also once <laughs> caught this guy pumping his pud too. Uh, exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you so hard you won't see nothing ever, ever, ever. You can't have an opinion on something that you haven't even tried. And then we're, oh man, what is this? This is fucking, where's Jared? Where's Jared? I don't know. His, I hear his voice, but uh, I don't see him. Where, wait, wait, wait for it. Oh. oh, my God. He's over there. What? Ladies and gentlemen, please. Hold on. I got to go back to you uh, now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. That's why oh, I, need oh. to, I, get, that's why I got to get a third camera so we can have the, the wide angle shot. Of oh, dude, this. this is fucking sweet. Um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 106. 106 episodes of the Mad Scientist Lab podcast. As always... Uh, as always, it is I, RJ, the pizza guy, along with Jared, the visual mad scientist. And joining us, as always, is our good pal, Oliver, um, who, you know, he's just kind of here. Um, so for two those things who, before you start. OK, go ahead. I would need you to remove two items off of that table. Oh, no, not that. I'm not oh, oh, especially that. that one. Yep. And then the, the little cap. Yeah, the cap's not going to do anything. Cap, it, everyone knows what it is. Oh, <laughs> oh well, I so plus, for, plus you were taking away. You're already trying to trash up our new studio. So it, for all of the viewers out there, and we know you watch, we have finally stepped up in life, and we got ourselves. Or Jared did, because uh, I don't pr- pr- contribute anything to this show other than just his voice. Yeah, really. Um, got this nice wooden. What is it? Wooden oak. I don't know. Oak. It's not real wood, but oh. it's, it's like the finishes. Like, uh, yeah, I well, think it was oak. I can't remember which one I got. Oh, the box is over there, but we got this nice L-shaped table for the podcast. They and don't need to know what it is. What? The, okay. they, oh, I mean, Fine. It's, a, it's it, an L-shaped table. Yeah, because we're launching into oh. lots of more, more episodes. Yeah. Oh, uh, shit. You know what we didn't do? And now we have to start over. We didn't do the background? Yep. We don't have to start over. <laughs> it's okay. It's it's all right. It's natural. We had to move things around. All right, hold on. We'll be right back, folks. And just like that, we're back. We're ba- we're oh, we're back. Yes. Oh, sweet. So yeah, background switch. Um. Anyway, uh, like I was saying before the brief intermission, um, we're gonna be rich, and n- all of you are invited. All of you. And I don't know if you guys noticed what Jared was wearing. Um, if you wouldn't mind panning the camera back to your handsome self, he has got the official Mad Scientist Lab T-shirt. Look at the strong guy over there. I can't do that, unfortunately. <laughs> Why not? Well, I just I I'm you're obviously a lot more fit than I am. Um, I've been slacking lately, but it is what it is. Well, it's time to get your game up, sir, because we're doing sober October here pretty soon. Yeah, yeah, and uh, we're gonna go to a baseball game and be sober. Yeah, well. Well, you still got to get those tickets because somebody fucking dropped the ball on that. I already talked to him about it. Did you yell at him? No, I didn't yell at him. We got to let him stop making adult decisions. I, I, I said that <laughs> the last game we went to. <laughs> I said he is not allowed to make any more decisions. What's up, dude? Um, anyway, uh, real quick, um, I just want to say thank you to everybody that reached out to me my, on my birthday this past Thursday. Um, uh, you are appreciated. Uh, thank you so much. A year older. Another rotation around the sun. Um, I'm also, I was very fluttered. I got a lot of nice messages from people and stuff. Um, also, we got hammered. <laughs> you know what's, you know what I hate, man? 
What's that? Every year, I tell myself, I'm like, I'm not doing it. And do you know what happens? It just it just happens. I mean, that's what you do. I know, but it's like we we drink enough, and it's like why like why now? Um, you know why? I think um, because we're about to do <laughs> we know we know what we're about to do uh, sober October. And yeah, was, and like I think we're just. Well, to I'm gonna it. tell you that was a lot of Jameson, sir. I didn't. Ugh, I, don't, uh, I don't like Jameson. It's too sweet. Uh, yeah, I could tell you that yesterday I thought I was dead, but I'm not, folks. I am here. Um, I've got my koozie for my boozy. All right, and you're thinking like, oh man, you got hammered. Why are you drinking again? To even it out. To even it out. <laughs> is that what is that what your excuse is? Uh, it helps. You know that hair of the dog shit. I don't really believe in it. So. Uh, Greg was saying like, here, like, why don't you, why don't you just drink a beer yesterday morning? And I was like, that really makes me feel like an alcoholic. Like, uh, uh, I don't, mm. before work and stuff. I don't know. Like oh, I no, never, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it definitely before work. Like, yeah. You know, so, um, you just, to, you just have to fucking suck it up. Take it. Oh yeah. I sucked it up. All right. All of it. As odd as that may sound. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, but big, big thank you to, to everybody that came out and celebrated. You are appreciated. Um, and so, yeah, thank you very, very much. Um, what I did last weekend, I went out to Pittsburgh um, for the Steelers game. Unfortunately, they did not win. I, hopefully, it's because I was there. Uh, they We have some, obviously, injuries on defense, and we have a brand new O-line. And Sounds like a bunch of excuses to me. It's Well, it's not an excuse, sir. We're rebuilding. Rebuilding? We are, dude. I've been rebuilding for the last fucking three, what, three years now? Well, Ben was hurt one year. We were 11-0, and 0, and then we lost to the Browns. I don't want to talk about this. I don't even know why I brought it up. Anyway. I don't should, know either. So, uh, big shout-out to uh, Clay. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Kevin, for tagging along with us. Um, and to the people in Pleasant Hill, um, Pennsylvania, right outside of Pittsburgh, uh, our good friend Tara's family uh, God, took damn. us in. You just fucking gave them the whole location. It's it's in the mountains, man. Ain't nothing out there. Mm-hmm. It's there's nothing there. There's there. You know what there is? Fucking turkeys, bro. Fast fucking turkeys. Well, turkeys are pretty fast, dude. It was fast as shit. Turkeys are hard to uh, to like hunting too. They're hard to hunt because because they can. They're birds. They they can yeah. see all kinds of shit. So um, just real quick rundown of the trip. Um, so we drove out there Saturday. Uh, we went to this brewery. It's called Spoonwood Brewery. Uh, when we got there, it smelled amazing inside. Did they? Did they spoon wood? I, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> um, to be honest with you, everybody was polite. If that's what you mean, um, it was, but it smelled it amazing. Wood, huh? Yeah, well, the spoon in my wood. Anyway, uh, it, God, dude, uh, it smelled amazing in there. And I looked over. You're not helping. Your yeah, story. I know. I looked over to the left when we walked in. And then I saw it, and I already knew what I was ordering. They had the brick oven, like the the, like pizza. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? It's it's so much room over here. I can take I can take my shoes off and, and just hang out. Yeah, just make sure your feet don't smell. They do. But I haven't bathed yet today, yeah. so. I put, I put them up here. Oh ah. my god, get them away! Ah. Okay, so Jared, this is how you can. This well, is. you did buy the table, so you can. <laughs> you know, I guess it, I guess it's fair. So I walk in there. Uh, you know, we're we got our group going on. And I look over and I saw the brick oven and I was like, I have to get a fucking brick oven pizza. So I got a barbecued pizza and had pulled pork, bacon, chicken, and all sorts of other just ungodly, terrible things for you. God it was, damn. it was fucking amazing. I, dude. I, I, that, look, uh, the, what do they say? Why do all the good things, all the good things are so bad for you? Some shit like that. I yeah. It, everything bad for you is so good or what? Yeah. yeah no, no. Um, but I had to get one. It was fucking phenomenal. Um, and our good friend Clay got a half rack of ribs that looked like it, it, it looked, I don't know how that was a half rack. It was huge. Um, he the, ate the whole fucking thing. Didn't he? he did. He ate the uh, whole thing. It sounded um, like some shit he would do. Oh, bro. And the cornbread there was fucking fire, bro. Oh, okay. So when, 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 la, 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 when, 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 ah, shit, I can't get shit out today. Um, remember last week when we were talking about my trip to Huntsville and I yeah. went to the restaurant? Well, we were all hungry as shit, and they brought um, the bread over. And I thought it was just fucking regular old just bread to eat and whatever. Man, it's corn. it was cornbread with cheese in it. Holy fuck. Bro. Uh, 
I can only imagine how good that was. That shit was, fu- and they were like, uh, we finished the first one like quick, and then, like, and then the la- the lady came back. She we ordered the appetizers or whatever, and uh, she came back over, and we're like, uh, can we get some more of those those rolls, oh, please? Dude, <laughs> like, you didn't even get to the main court. See, you, you know you're in for a treat when the appetizers are fire, bro. Yeah, yeah like the simple shit is good. Mm. You're 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 in for something good. So we hung out there for about an hour. Uh, a, you know, it got to know everybody. Um, and then they took us to this place formerly known, or it's called the P bar. Okay. P bar. It's called, the, well, it stands for the pleasant bar. Apparently it was rebuilt. So let me get this straight. You first had, uh, the morning wood. <laughs> spoon wood, sir. <laughs> oh, the spoon morning wood. <laughs> yeah. And then I went to the P bar. Then you went to the P bar. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got it. So. <laughs> Welcome to Northern PA, folks. Uh, anyway, um, so we go there, and uh, Tara's cousin's telling us how they redid it. It used to be their dive bar, like how Lucky's was for us. Mm. Um, and they redid it, and she was like, yeah, there's a bunch of fucking yuppies that go in there now. And, you know, me and Kevin have never been there before. And, man, when we walked in, there were— <laughs> Record scratch. Dude, <laughs> we're, yeah, well, well, we were the only black people there. You okay. said that to me the other night. Dude. And we, it registered, but I was like— <laughs> Okay. Anyway, <laughs> so, so no, everybody, dude, there was, uh, I hate to say it, there was fucking bitches everywhere, dude. There like was bitches everywhere? I, there were women everywhere. Oh. Okay. I mean, everywhere. Yeah. It just. You know they don't it, like to be called bitches, right? Can you edit that out? No. No, fuck <laughs> no. No, don't do it. No. <laughs> anyway, no, but everybody was super nice. Um, It was just packed, dude. It was people, and me and Kevin are like, you don't like this place? Obviously, that's because they're used yeah, to their. That, that, that's okay. So think about this: fucking Lucky closes down. Somebody comes in and and takes it over, and it's like rich people shit. How would you feel about that? I'd burn it down. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so no, I understand where she was coming from. It's definitely for the the younger people, but maybe I think what it is is it's like for them. It it was probably like. A, 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 a high end bar here is probably not. It's, it's probably like a Lucky's there. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, so we got you know some drinks and everything, and we were just chilling. They had a fire pits out in the back, and it was it was cool as shit, man. And uh, we were we were there for a good chunk of the night. Uh, left about one thirty. We so we're on the way back to where we were staying, and we. Notice there, there's a fire truck in the way, and like it's blocking the road. And we're like, "Hey, what's going on?" You know, it's a small little town. So the uh, one of the firefighters got out, and he was like, "Yeah, somebody hit one of the telephone poles down there." What? So I don't, I don't know if this nobody was injured, um, by the way, because this person, I don't know if they were drunk or whatever the case, or lost control of the vehicle. Obviously, and they hit a telephone pole. It ripped out another telephone pole, and the car went down a hill to where a bunch of cows were at. So there was no power on the entire street. So we literally go into the house we're staying in. Uh, she has uh, so many candles, okay? I, I mean, like a lot of candles. She collects candles. <laughs> so we lit all these candles. Oh, 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 oh yeah, because the power is out. Yeah, right. yeah, the power is out, and we're just, you know, we're just chilling. Um, had a nice little one-hitter. Just took a nice old toke, man, and was just talking and vibing until probably four Who, in the morning. Whose one-hitter was this? I mean, don't name names, but. Uh, the the uh, host. Oh, okay. The host. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Um, I did not want to bring anything in Clay's car. And then when we were driving, he's like, oh, yeah, you could have brought some. And I was like, what the fuck? You know, like, <laughs> I was so blown. Um, So we were probably up till about four in the morning, went to sleep, woke up at probably at about eight, you know, got ready, um, and then went down to the game for the tailgate. Uh, obviously, this was my first time at Heinz Field. It was fucking all. Yeah, we lost, but the whole experience was. Was there ketchup packets everywhere? Dude, there's bottles, like, there's pictures of ketchup bottles and all sorts of shit. Because right across the street from the stadium is Three Rivers Casino. I was I was trying to make a joke there, but... No, I, I understand. <laughs> I didn't I, realize that there was actually ketchup. Dude, there. dude, there's some shit up there, all right? <laughs> so, we're in this casino, um, walking around. I don't gamble, okay? I mean, we didn't stop in there. We had to go through the casino because we parked in the garage that's attached to it. And, man, there's people everywhere. They had all these big-ass screens for, you know, the games and everything. It was just a really cool experience. And we get to the tailgate. Man, 
you know me. You know I get overly invested and emotional in, in football, in sports in general, especially Steeler football. And, man, I am nowhere near the level of insane as some of the people I met, dude. Well, they were all polite, but, man, they, they, man, they, their gear, they were decked the fuck out, bro. The, this guy had a Steeler RV. It looked like it was from, like, the 90s. Have you ever been to a football game before? Yes, yes, I have, but it's just... Dude, when you go to Skins games, or excuse me, Washington football games, that I've tailgated there before too. Mm-hmm. Um, There's people with RVs. Yeah, no, no, no. Redskins. Or, well, I've I've never know why seen I'm it. Fucking biting my tongue on that. Fuck, they're, they're still they were the Redskins at the time. So, so, uh, but anyway, this guy was walking around with his jar of cherries that were soaked in moonshine. Um, so sounds, sounds appropriate. It uh, it was. Mm. Um, so I had two of them, and holy shit, dude. I felt my like my lungs burning on the inside in a good way. How long were they? Had they been sitting in? in um, I didn't even bother to ask him, man. They, they were, this is probably old, dude, dude. They were like, it, it was great. It came fresh out of the, the moonshine still, and then put. He just made that. He probably just makes that as like the the normal thing. Yeah, but everybody was great. Uh, we got to the tailgate a little late, so we didn't get to grub on anything there, unfortunately. Um, but uh, so we get up into the stadium. And if uh, I did post some pictures on Facebook for people who had obviously follow me on that, um, me and Clay were sitting on the second row at the 45 yard line on the Steelers side. Um, it was just an awesome experience, man. And I'll tell you something, man. Clay is a fan. I've never seen him ever do that in my life. Just we, we know he's a fan. Oh, no. But like, I guess because we're in like he, a public he, setting. He gets upset. So, like when you say the wrong fucking thing, you say anything bad about him, he gets upset. Oh yeah, no, I will get upset too because you're all wrong. But that's okay. We're not wrong. You're not. Well, you're not right. And so here, uh, let me take a sip of my beer. Uh, um, what's, but, your, what's the record so far? Uh, we're one and one right now. One and one. Okay, okay so we. What's the Washington football team? Not that I care. I'm just saying. What, what's their record right now? Uh, one and one. Okay. It's only the third week. <laughs> So like I mean you're only you're only gonna have so many variables of of, of wins and losses or you know, but um, I just had, I just had to say that. it's okay. It's I'd rather lose early in the season. Wait, than, what, what are the Buccaneers? What's their record? Shut the fuck up. No, I want to know. They're two and zero. Oh. oh, okay. Hmm. They're actually playing the Rams tomorrow at four thirty. That should be that's a really gonna, be a good yeah. Game. It should be a very good game. I'm very much looking forward to that. I don't have um, regular TV at my house, so I don't know if I'm going to go out or not. Well, they have at Tortuga Verde. Mm-hmm. Now, I know we don't really go there often anymore, but they really stepped it up for Sundays. Um, well, no, in terms of beer, what they did was is they're doing the... Oh, the bucket shit. The bu- don't, don't advertise for them. Oh, I'm not, but fuck. Then that like, defeats the purpose. Well, I'm not trying to advertise. Basically, you can get a f- five bottles for very cheap. Oh. Uh-huh. Which is kind of a steal, in my opinion. Why can't you just give me the six bottle? Give me the six. Give me a six pack. Like, you know what's crazy? That is because Lucky's used to do that shit too. What the fuck? They used what? to fucking. Where is the six bottle? They, they yeah, it's like yo, just give me my six bottle. I stop trying to fucking get every fucking ounce of money out of my fucking pocket. Well, it's it's still relatively inexpensive to for the beer, so I was happy How, with that. Okay, what's the what, what's the ex- inexpensive to you? It's fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks for how many beers? Five. Do the it's math like, on that. It's like three dollars a beer. Mm. It's better. Put it this way: in a, in, in a bar could, setting, it's better than okay. just buying them all singly or, okay. or one by one. I, I could go home. Or I, I could go to Seven Eleven right down the street and buy six for. Shit, even a, a high end joint. Oh, another thing: we stopped at this place um, called Crawford's. It's in Breezewood. We saw some Amish people Is there. A brewery? No, it's actually it's basically a barn filled with Steelers merchandise. There's probably two million dollars worth of shit in there. I'm not even lying. It's in the middle of Breezewood. I mean, whatever. <laughs> so uh, I saw Amish people at a McDonald's. Really cool. What uh, the fuck? Yeah, it was wild. They're eating processed fucking. Bullshit. Well, what's so? There's Amish people, and then there's like some Amish people that use like electricity. They're they're like a different. Yeah, they're they're the ones who kind of. Um, have moved away from. Yeah, there's like a word from Kevin knows it. I I can't remember either. Um, but yeah, but they, yeah, but dude, there was like a little Amish boy with like the hat and everything, and I was like, holy shit, it's Amish people. This guy, the little Amish boy. Dude, that should be the name of the episode. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh uh, shit, uh, I didn't set that up. 
Um, I, I was going to put it up so everybody could see, but let's see if we can find what little Amish boy is. There we go. Sure. Yeah. Not here. little Amish boy. Uh, fuck. Uh, the the brand of Amish. <laughs> the brand, <laughs> dude. I'm sorry. This sounds so bad. You can't be a brand of Amish. Fucking um. So, and then we stopped at this uh little beer I'm and wine hit you place. So hard, you want? Uh, you know, a little before we got to uh, our destination, and we and dude, there's so much beer in the world, bro. But they had some IPAs. Um, I bought some. Then you buy like a twelve pack of uh, of the Iron City joint. I thought no, you brought that back. No, see the thing is, is they only had the Iron City beer in cans, bro. And I did not, I did not want to bring back cans. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I was looking for the bottles. I was like, bro, you have a thirty pack of 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 cans, but you don't have like a twelve pack or a six pack of bottles or whatever it is. The beer is a little cheaper out there, uh, just a bit. So, so we got these IPAs and. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, the colors look cool. So I was like, oh, this must be good. It was actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie. And, uh, man, where's Kevin? He should have came on and told us his experience with us. Uh, needless Did to you, say. You, you never invited him. I didn't. So Kevin. How's he supposed to fucking know? Does he? And then you're going to say Kevin, like he watches the show on a regular basis. Maybe he does. But we're going to find out. Kevin, if you're out there, I'll just text him. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that'll probably work. But here, you're always welcome to come on the show, sir. He's uh oh we had we had a blast man and uh, I lost my voice for a day, um, and yeah, and I had I had a lot of fun man I had a lot of fun. You should have I mean that that was the whole point of going. Like why would you go somewhere <laughs> and not to have fun. and not to have fun? You know it's what is that that one meme? It's like okay it's like the Bob's Burger meme. He's like yeah I'll go out but I'm gonna complain the whole time or oh, whatever nah, it is. I can't nah that you know what speaking of that. That is one thing that I do not like. I do not like people who complain a lot. Well, after a while, yeah, it's like, shut the fuck up. No, it's not after a while. It's like, dude, you want to complain about it, do so, like do something about it. Yeah. Like, shut the, shut the fuck up. <laughs> like, I don't want your, and then don't complain. Don't, <laughs> Lost for words, folks. Lost for words. <sighs> I'm getting into some. Other stuff that I've been thinking about a lot recently, which I don't really think I want to. Nah, I don't talk about that. Hey, look at the giraffe. It's pretty cool. I can't see the giraffe over there. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, they can see it. Yeah, my little beer opener. From I remember, it's not automatically on you all the time. I know it's weird. That's okay though. The sound of my voice carries. And dude, I'm telling you, you know what I did find, and I I need to figure it out because I didn't I didn't mean to cut you off, but the um the the beta firmware for this. Board. Okay. Um, apparently, you can use these to switch between uh, camera angles. Oh, nice. So, I need to figure that. I need to download that and figure that out. That way, I don't have to be over yeah, here. Yeah, you I can just... Get, boop, it's like FJ. FJ. Yeah. FJ. No, oh, fuck you. No, not fuck... FR. F, uh, fuck Richard? No, you said FJ. F Jared. Yeah. Or, no, or no. Or J. No, not... Uh, what's up, J? Um... <laughs> No, you never took the computer that class. don't look at this shit either. Well, I, uh, he's apparently dying his hair red. No, he's not. That's what he said. Well, if, if, hold on. <laughs> if you do that shit, you have to come on here and show the world. He'll do it. And yes, we are seen and heard around the world. Around the world. You should also like, share, and subscribe while you're at it. That little notification right there. Wait. It's yeah. farther down. Okay, over here. Yeah, yeah there you go. Almost. Oh, little lower. No, 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 not oh, that far. Oh, right. Right, yeah, right, 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 there. Yeah. Look at my finger, folks. Look little, at my somewhere finger. Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there is where you should uh, da, 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 <laughs> subscribe. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. And like on every year with other place. And review. Please review on iTunes, ladies and gentlemen. We need more reviews. It helps put the podcast, uh, the audio version, up higher in the, uh, um, the algorithm for uh, for Apple. And if you're not listening on Apple or you're listening on Spotify or wherever the fuck, because we're everywhere, um, uh, do whatever you can there, too. Download us. Yeah, if you're at the gym working out, pop a listen. If the, the, the radio's on and there's nothing good on it, you can listen to us while you drive. Agreed. Yeah, okay. I listen to podcasts all the time. Oh, 
yeah, I, I talked about this before. Um, the Smart List podcast with uh, Jason Bateman, Will Arnett, and I forgot the other guys. I, uh, I forgot the other guy's name, but they have they always have like people on every week. Uh, like the one I just finished listening to that came out a couple of days ago was uh, John Stewart, and Ooh. nobody it, like just think about talking to people who are, are like big dogs in the game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and like you're, you're talking. Jason Bateman has a podcast, bro. Yeah. Will Arnett, and I forgot the other. These are famous actors slash directors, producers, and they just have random people. On, like, uh, I think they had Stephen Colbert on one time. and had, um, What was the one? Oh, George Clooney was the one. I Yeah, no, I remember you telling me yeah. that. I remember you telling me that. I fucking, I, I like that podcast. I'm going to keep <laughs> listening to that one. Stick with it. Another one that I've been watching a lot uh, is Kill Tony. Um only because it's a comedy thing. It's it basically they, they have they're in Austin now, which is cool. And like everybody's like, yeah, I just moved here a couple months ago. It's like fuck, everybody's fucking moving to Austin right now. Um, but it, they'll ha- it'll be like, uh, they have a bucket that people sign up, and then they have a bucket, and they'll pick. It. If you get your name picked, you get to go up on stage and do uh, a minute of of material of your own material. Oh shit, that's pretty cool. Um and. So they'll have, and then they'll have people who who do so well that they invite them back, and then they start like one guy is opening for like Joe Rogan now, like it's like it's crazy, man. So I want to get down there and figure out see if I can get on there. Um, we'll see, but it, Kill Tony is a fucking good ass show. It's funny as fuck, dude. Tony Hinch, Hinchcliffe is the is the the basically the the host of the show. Nice, yeah. I um, what you call it? I wanted, oh, man. Damn, I'm having a brain fart. Fuck. Yeah. I'm, I'm pulling a you right now. How are you pulling a me? No, I don't, because I'm for, I forgot what, I lost my train of thought. Man, fuck you. What? That's not a bad, <laughs> I mean it in like an endearing way. I can't help it. I have ADHD and I have memory problems. Okay, anyway. this, uh, this is what I wanted to talk about. I got into a heated discussion with someone. I wouldn't say heated, but into a verbal disagreement. Um, What? Is the ratio for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? And what kind of jelly do you 50, use? 50-50. See, I don't do it that way. What the fuck do you do? I do like 70-30. 70-30 what? Uh, the 70 is the jelly. I knew it. What? Is that, it, is that's it, are you, boy shit. It's not, it's, but. Because you're, all that sugar, bro. Like, that's a lot of sugar. Even, it, even the peanut butter has a lot of sugar in it. But you can buy like sugarless jelly. Do you really think sugarless jelly doesn't have something that makes it sweet. Well, maybe if I read the label. Yeah, exactly. That, oh, good. Okay, well, I I like watermelon jelly. What the fuck? Or strawberry, excuse me. Boy. <laughs> I'm glad you fucking changed yeah, that. Yeah. I was like, who, where the fuck do you even get, get watermelon yeah, yeah, jelly yeah, from? I'm sorry. I'm just thinking of all the great flavors in the world. So, yeah, I like strawberry jelly. I have no problem with grape or or blueberry or whatever. Blueberry? Yeah. yeah. What the uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Where do you find blueberry jelly? I don't know, man. The fucking store, the Jared. Fucking farmer's market or some shit. <laughs> yeah, they just yeah, they, shut up. Like you can, it's a real thing. It has to be. Um. Anyway, so no, 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 no. We're not past this. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> what? No. Oh, okay. So you said what? What flavors? So strawberry, uh-huh. grape. Those are that's your one seed. Yeah, it's different. Okay, so strawberries your one seat, grapes your second, second. and then there's and then uh, blueberry, there's, yeah, like blueberry. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck has blueberry. Uh, jelly. Jelly, dude, or is it raspberry? Yeah, hold on, raspberry. Or, yeah, bro, I don't know where you shop at, but they they don't have that shit where I. Dude, shop the last at. time I walked into a store, I think I was still the pizza man. So, jeez, Louise. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Grocery shopping, I've always, I've said this before, can be an extremely horrible experience. I fucking hate it. And I need to go now. My mom refrigerator is bare. Are you? I think I'm at the point in my life where I might as like I'll just like you know what starving doesn't seem like a bad idea, bro. There's been days that I fucking have not eaten for two days because you just don't want to go to the I, store. I just don't feel like. <laughs> what is wrong with us, Jared? I don't know, man. Dude, I'm just lazy. Yeah, I, uh, we are like big man childs. I, no, I, no, no. I'm a man child. First of all, I have my own place. Hey. 
I take care of my family, sir. No, no, I, you I, saw me change the light bulb earlier. I'm not knocking you. No. I'm just saying. I'm not rich. I have to take care of my people. Did the light bulb even work? Uh, the second one did. <laughs> and then my mom turns the switch on when my hand's still on and I'm screwing it. We could have blown up and blown my eye fucking, my eyes up. My mom's crazy. <laughs> she just comes down. Do you know what's crazy? She says she told me about that light being burned out. And I have no recollection of this. Like, at all. She just... Folks, for everybody out there, when Jared comes over, that's when my mom comes downstairs. To uh, do all the stuff that that she should be doing. No, she's like, well, Jared's here, so you got to do it now. So I don't look like a little bitch, you know, and all that. (laughs) Or a bad son. It's like, come on, Ma. (laughs) What does it it happen? You know, I know why. I know why. Exactly why it happens. It's because of that fucking mouse, dude. She still thinks it lives, like, among us. No, it's not the mouse. Um... Man, we might need to put another thing over there so we can get some more sound dampening. Just but, ha- huh? What are we going to hang it from? I don't know. It's like a little cubicle of cloth. Maybe there. Uh, but, yeah, but that's how that's a sound room anyway. Um, what was I saying? Fuck. Yeah, you were saying, like, you knew why my mom came down oh, here. Oh, um, no, no. Uh, why she tells you to do stuff then is because you, if no one's here, if there's no guests or anything here, then you're watching The Simpsons all fucking day. I was watching The Simpsons laying in my bed. No, no you were watching The Simpsons helping me. Well, hold on. Helping I, me. Okay, I did help with the table, but everything else I was watching The Simpsons. Yeah. I'm like, fucking, I'm sitting here listening to Homer for fucking three hours. Uh, dude, it's, come on, man. It's The Simpsons. I know. You know it's, it's cool, but like, yo, I'm trying to think. Like, I can't hear you, with yeah. fucking Homer I'm doing this dumb shit. Come on, man. Dude, I, f- I feel like watching more of it. I'm not going to lie. And I will. I'm, I'm, I'm very excited. Of course you will. It's, uh, it, it's what I do. It's what I do. It's the weekend, man. Did you Have you caught up on uh, What If yet? No, because the last two days I do not remember anything. Oh, well, obviously. No, yeah. I remember, but I was too, um, what is that, that word we like to use? Inebriated. To mm-hmm. focus on the television. I ate a sandwich, or I started eating a sandwich, I put it down, and I lost it. How do you lose a sandwich? I don't know. I don't know where you it probably went. Probably ate the motherfucker. It, it, that's a very high possibility. Yes. <laughs> you won't just lose it. Like one day you're gonna be walking around the house one day. Like, oh, there's that. Sandwich. Well, well I'm not gonna eat it then. <laughs> Why not? I'm just. I'm it just might saying. be good for you. So, so back to the jelly thing. Oh yeah. Okay. So you're fifty fifty, which is fine. Okay. So yeah. Okay. The jelly I wouldn't thing. say I wouldn't say seventy thirty. I would say more sixty forty. A little more jelly than peanut butter. Okay. That that's more reasonable. I. I think I prefer more peanut butter if I was going to do more than, but I like 50 50. Okay. Um, do you cut the crusts off? Man, what am I, fucking 12? No, I don't either. I just wanted to ask. No, I don't cut the crust off. I'm a fucking, I'm a fucking grown ass man. I, I know, but you can have like little things that you like. I, I don't understand. First of all, I never had. Yeah, my mom wasn't do, doing that shit. She was not cutting the crust off of anything. She's like, this motherfucker. I, and I, I feel the same way. It's like, eat the fucking crust. Like, that's bread, motherfucker. Yeah, that, I understand that. And I was never one to ask to cut my crust either. No, but I know, I've known people who've had that, like, throughout the years. I'm like, uh-huh. Do you like, um, oh, man, fuck. So, cutting the crust, hold on. Losing my train of thought. Cutting the crust. But, yeah, the peanut butter... Um, like you you wanted to say what kind of peanut butter uh is the best? Or well, not the best? I creamy. I used, when I was a kid, I, there was times when I would, I would be like, oh, I want crunchy peanut butter, but I, I just like yeah, nah, it's it's okay. It's not uh not like the best. Okay, so how so say you're making a PB and J, right? How do you cut it? Do you cut it in half or do you cut it in triangles? If if you were to cut it, this motherfucker. Now, first, it cuts the crust off. I don't cut he, the crust off. Then he. That has triangles. Uh, I, what do you mean triangles? You mean just like half? Yeah, half down, like down the middle. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I like the triangles better. Yeah. Um, so if I'm if I'm be feeling lazy, then I'll just eat the whole eat thing. The whole thing. No, no. Okay, I'm kind of in the same boat with that. See, we learned a lot about you today, Jared. Why is that? I don't. I don't know. This is a fascinating conversation. This is the first time I've never talked to you about peanut butter. Before. Well, not not in the sense of it, this. You know why? Is because we're able to actually see each yeah, other. Yeah, look at this table, folks. <laughs> it is fucking amazing, man. I'm so amazed by it. I am gonna undress my beer. You wait. You hear that? Oh yeah, it's getting naked. Why are you cool. undressing it and and showing the label? 
uh, I'm not showing the label, Jared. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. So I'm going to put this over here. See, because mine, you can't really tell what it is because it's green. Well, you can, if I turn it that way, you can. So, and I'm going to take this. I'm going to use my giraffe beer opener. I'm not going to show the bottle. Oh, uh, yeah. You hear that? Oh, we got to put the cap over here, making this a whole process. And then, <laughs> then we're going to, sl- oh, it's like putting on a sock. <laughs> if it takes this long for you to put a sock on, something wrong with you. Sir, I, I when I say I'm on time, and I'm, I, I am always like two minutes late because. It takes I, you three hours to put your socks on. Ah, man, just like the thought, like I have to like mentally prepare myself before I go sit at my desk at work. Ah, that's a good beer. What? This I'm is, just This is what you sounded like. This is the way. There you go. <laughs> um, that's that's fine with me. Um when's the new season start? In October? Mm, no, I don't think so. I think I saw I, I think I want to say January. Oh, so we're still a little while away. Yeah, we're a ways away. Ah, that's okay. There's a lot of cool video games coming out this year, so I'm um, fucking excited. Oh, I fucking was gonna pull that up. I had a, a thing I had the list of all the new games coming out. But then I, I forgot about it. Um also, the Obi Wan Kenobi uh, series is just, just finished. Finish, up. Yeah, finished filming, right? Um, and I saw, I thought I saw. I don't know if it's real, but I thought I saw a trailer, and it looked pretty fucking sick. Look, man, I'm you. You you know me and you. We're big Star Wars guys. Um, I think you might be just a little more than me. Just a, just a little bit. Just a tad. Why? I don't know. I don't. I just. I just. That's how I feel. Like it's not explain, a bad thing. Explain uh, what more do you what? Yeah, I want to know. I want to know why though. Why? Why do you think I'm? Maybe it's because you're like older. Does that make sense? <laughs> not 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 saying you're old, but I'm just. I don't know why I feel this way. Let, no, let's dig into this. All right, go why, ahead, RJ. Why do you feel that I'm a bigger Star Wars fan than you? What what that means? You like something else. That, I feel like you understand some of the lore. A little deeper than I do. Uh, I don't know about that. Okay. Well, that's fair. I mean, I that's think, not a bad I think, thing. I think Greg might know. No, no. Well, Greg read the books too, man. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so I, I think he yeah, actually. I didn't, yeah. I, I didn't read the books, but I got a lot of the story from my my buddy Tony, who he, he was on here before, um, uh, about uh, the books, the okay. stuff that was in the books. But I don't know if I'm more of it because I'm probably more of a Star Trek fan than I'm a Star Wars fan. Okay, that's fair. You have said that before. Yeah. So, see, so yeah, I'm not a Trekkie. Like, I'll watch it. Like, no, but won't. No, you won't. I will. Somebody brought up to me Picard last night, and I was like, do you want to see Picard? <laughs> I, was, I forgot who it was now. Is, have you seen it? Yeah, I saw the first season. Is it good? I like it. Okay, well. Um... It brings back a lot of the old people from Star Trek, uh, the, the next generation. Uh, like, Jordy's there. Le- LeVar Burton, who said he doesn't want to do, uh, he's not going to pursue the Je- Jeopardy, the Jeopardy thing. thing anymore. Yeah, I saw I saw that. i uh, fucking blown about that. But he's done, a, he's done a lot of shit, so. Yeah, LeVar Burton's a cool dude, man. He do, I, 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 that's one, we were talking about pictures last week. Like, who would I want to have okay. a picture? Okay, you know, it's crazy. You're right. I'd be down to get a photo with LeVar Burton. Dude. Hell yeah. That would be the dopest one for me. With the Reading Rainbow logo, too. That would be fucking nah, sick. Nah. No. With, with, we both have visors on, like we're Jordy LaForge. Okay, that's fine. I'm okay with a, that. I have a, a Nationals jersey that I have. I had LaForge put on the back of it. That's how much of a Star Trek fan I am. Okay, and yeah. A, and a Jordy LaForge fan. Okay, well... I will tell you this right now. I'm nerding out. Right yeah, now. you are. You're. Let me, hit, let me hit it for myself. No! Speaking of the Simpsons, and never. Oh God, I, lo- I love this show. I love our show. Oh, I was, yeah, I love our show too. What the fuck? So, um, when you're looking at the camera, are you looking up again? Like, I don't. I don't know. I'm looking at you. I'm looking. At, everything's no, no, all moved around. No, I, I keep looking up because I'm used to it being up higher. Oh yeah. So well, now I'm, I'm looking here, and then I go back down here. Yeah, it's it's weird. It's cool though. This is such a nice table, man. Yeah. I know we keep talking about everything. It, feels yeah. We have cleaner. so much more space. It's cleaner. It's cleaner. Yeah. The mic. Okay, so the biggest thing for me, folks, is the mic is securely fastened to this table, to where I don't have to worry about extending the arm 
or bending the knee or, or whatever the case may be. Even still, you look like you're you're scared to move it. <laughs> I, I I I just I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to fuck shit up, man. Nah, we got the extra support under there too. Oh yeah, so this was and you know what's crazy, man? That worked out perfectly with these little holes right here. Yeah. Um. Because I I was worried because I was gonna try to wire everything through those, and I when I when we put it together, I didn't realize that um that it it, it worked out having the holes on this side. So. All in all, I basically have the mic to where I don't have to be afraid to, like, touch it. I don't have anybody sitting next to me, you know, looking looking at myself, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and Jack Nichols, or Leo, Jack. Damn it, I, fuck, my, I'm looking at it all wrong. Anyway, so. Um, I think people know who they yeah, are. Yeah, I'm sure they do. I'm <laughs> sure they do. That is completely fine with me. And look how he's looking at you. Yeah, that's how most people look at me. That's okay. <laughs> I um and for me he's like, see I told you this guy's cool. Yeah, well I went to uh so uh, I've never had this uh before at the mall. I mean nobody goes to the mall to get food anyway unless you're actually in the mall shopping. And I don't really go there often. I don't think that's true. People go to the mall for food all the time. Like to go to the food court itself. Yeah, it depends on where they work. Okay, well, uh, like, cause okay, like so, if you work, okay. say you worked at Firestone over there, and you wanted Chipotle. Okay, where, okay, where else so, are you gonna get Chipotle at? Yeah, it is the closest just, one. Uh, oh. Yeah, don't no. I didn't realize. Uh, I can see it now. Okay, uh, did I fuck? Did I fuck it up a little bit? Don't worry, we'll keep going. All right. Um, what I was gonna say is, so I had. Uh, I think it's Sakaru Japan last night. Is that is that what it's called? Sapporo? No, no, no. It's it, it's it's something. Oh, like, uh, it's, I know what you're talking about. Um, it's the one that's right there on have, the corner. It, it always has a line there. Yeah, it's always packed. So yeah. I've never gone there. That's, uh, that, I used to, that's my that was my go to a lot of. The, um, I uh, had it last night for the first time, and I was actually pretty impressed with it, man. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean. it's... I I like that. So like that, that was my go to for a long. Uh, so when, when did I used to go there? No, matter of fact, yeah. When I worked at Sprint, I would go over there. That, the Sprint over here in Kingstown. Yeah, I would go over there, um, just for that, just to get the food. So yeah, people go to the mall just for okay. that. If it because you, you get tired of eating. It. I, I'm not gonna eat fucking boardwalk every day. I'm not gonna eat. No, that's what. What else was over there back then? Um, Johnny's came in later. I'm not going to eat Johnny's every fucking day. Nah, nah, don't do that. What uh, up, Sean? Yeah, well, shout out, Sean. Uh, we should have asked him if he wanted to come on today, but... Oh well. well, I didn't know how long this table thing was going to take. And I didn't either. I think uh, he might be working. Uh, yeah, probably. Or somebody. I, I don't know. I, thought, I swear we were supposed to have somebody. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, no, I messaged him earlier. Um, He had something he had to do. Of family. course he did. I knew. I, I, I knew. Dude. I know people, especially, I, I, I read people's patterns. I try to find patterns for people. <laughs> That's just a thing. I don't know what it is. But Take this off my head for a second. I, I knew he was, he was saying that in the moment, probably because he had a few drinks. And I knew, <laughs> I, I knew when it came down to it, there was, he was going to be off doing something else. He's probably on some, somebody's boat in fucking Georgetown somewhere. I mean... Being on a boat in Georgetown is pretty cool. I know, but he's not here. Yeah, this is also very true. saying he was going to be here. This is also very, very true. I just wanted to uh, just wanted to confirm that. So, anyway, I, I had it yesterday for dinner um, at work. My uh, the guy I work with at night uh, went down to go get it, and I was thoroughly impressed with it. I was like, oh, this is pretty good. And I got a fucking lot, though, dude. Like, you get yeah, a lot for you. Yeah, they you get a lot. And it's like, and if you go during, what was it, like around lunchtime, they give you, um, they, I forgot, they give you something. And it's like, what, what was, how much was it? It was like seven bucks or something, right? That's yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. so I, I, it was my turn to buy last night because uh, we kind of rotate who buys dinner and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So he was like, it was only 17 bucks. And I opened the box, dude, and it's not even really a huge box. It's a decent sized little styrofoam. Yeah. Man, I popped that thing open. It was like a mountain in there, dude. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, fuck. I was like, $17 for two of us for this shit? I was like, oh, that's that's money, son. 
yeah. money. And then you get, but you got to get the uh, the the egg roll, not the egg roll, the spring roll with it too. I did not get a spring roll. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Add that bad boy on there. Okay, so I will get a spring roll next time just to, um, just to justify my purchase. Justify your purchase. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Um, what else is good over there? Oh, the the Charlies. The my mom place. goes. Yeah, my mom goes there. Uh, when or she used to go there when she worked. Uh, you know, up at the mall and everything. And um, you can't go by there without stopping at Lids. Lids. Oh man, you know what's crazy? We were talking about hats last night, and somebody's like, "RJ, you really have a really big ass head." And I was like, <laughs> "I was like, fuck." I was like, "I do." Everybody knows, and I hate it. We're gonna find out because the, these fitteds need to, are gonna come in soon, eventually. <laughs> I'm just mad. Somebody was like, "Yo, you have a big ass head," and I was like, "Fuck, I know." Well, it, it wouldn't be so big if you cut it on a regular basis, dude. My hair is a mess, bro. My hair is a mess. Here, let me let me. They can see. Here, like you can't. It's I don't know if this justifies it, but I literally get out of the shower. I need a haircut too, but that's why I. Wear I literally hats. get out of the shower, and I, I, it's just like, pff, it's like out here, dude. It's crazy. My hat, my head can fit hats, so I wear hats. And somebody at work said I looked homeless. Yeah, we said that last week. I know, but it's. I think, I think it's true. Do I look homeless? Well, when I came in today, you looked homeless. Well, I was laying in my bed watching The Simpsons. This motherfucker. I was like, geez, Louise, you're so not prepared listen. to anything. To anything. You told you told me last night, be there at three. And I'm like, yes, sir. No, yeah, well, and that's true. I, I fucking hit you up and you're fucking pumping your putts. And that's, dude, I do not always pump my putt, <laughs> okay? Hey, you heard it here first, sir. Yeah, Ladies like, and gentlemen, he does not always <laughs> pump his putt. There's a time and place for that, sir. That's a t-shirt. I'm not always pumping my putt. Yes. Dude, I bet you it'll sell like hotcakes. <laughs> dude, if we're rich because of your saying with my face. Dude, oh, man, this is great. Um, Let me write that down no. so I don't forget. Yeah, write it down. Don't forget. No, but so I woke up. I don't know what it is, dude. Like, if I drink quite a bit the night before, I will wake up early as fuck for absolutely no reason. So because you're, you're, you're not getting... The uh, proper sleep. Yeah, the REMs and all that because your body's like, yeah, I know. What am I doing with my life? Anyway, so I woke up at like 8, which is not early, like early, early. It's early for me. Um, And I'm like, fuck, I'm awake. And I was still kind of tired. So I was like, excuse me. I was like, I'm going to uh, try to go back to sleep. So I did fall back asleep eventually after maybe 30 minutes or so. And I woke up and it was 1 o'clock. And I was like, you know what? Jared's coming over at three. I was like, I did not want to get on my Xbox because I was like, I've two hours. Like I was like, ah, I was like, I'm, I'm just gonna take it easy. So I did turn the Simpsons on and start binging, like the fat guy that I am. And um, I, I did see your text message that said you were on the way. And then 30 seconds later, you're like, I'm here. And I was which, like, well, what which, the fuck? No, it wasn't 30 seconds, dude. It was like it felt fast as shit to me <laughs> because well, I okay, so I went to. I went to Wendy's, which I didn't even eat the fucking food. Um, so I went to Wendy's, and then I went to 7-Eleven to get beer. And then when I was leaving 7-Eleven, that's when I said, I'm on the way. I see. Okay. So that's so, why it was fast. Okay. Because I was right down the street. Because either that or I was like, <laughs> dude, am I still drunk? Like, what's happening? You know, that kind of thing. Whoop. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah. Tear it up. Yeah, I'm just breaking our whole new set. Now, I had to relieve the pressure from my brain because I have a big-ass head. That fucking koozie looks cool sitting there. It does. You know what's crazy? I'm not even going to touch it. Just leave it there. <laughs> and, um, no, uh, but, yeah, no, nah, man, it's it's the weekend. Obviously, the last two days I've been kind of celebrating a bit. And it's like, ugh, it's like, God, now I have to get up and do stuff. And... We got up. I did some stuff, and then I watched you do the rest, as you know, per usual. No, you didn't watch me. You watched. Oh, you, The Simpsons. Yeah, you watched The Simpsons the whole time. I don't know, man. Like I'm trying. Like we're trying to take the old table down because we thought we were going to be. Able oh to yeah, use I it. almost lost my hand. I didn't folks. realize how big that fucking table was. It's a pretty sturdy table. So wait, you you brought that, or no, Greg brought that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We could save it for like beer pong or something. Oh, that's definitely a good beer pong table. Uh, I, I just wish I didn't have this fucking post, like, right in the center of 
you know, oh, my the, house. The house? Yeah, yeah just kind of, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Yeah, you know. party's down here. Uh, no, I'm not. You guys are the only, this is a party. No, well, yeah, you're right. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm people just thinking like house. old school parties, like, like they play the old school music, like, uh, like not Marvin Gaye, like Earth, Wind, and Fire type shit. I mean, I'm, de- dude, you know what's crazy? Okay, we're talking about house parties now. I'm going to tell you some stuff. All right. <laughs> so I remember, man, I remember when we were in high school or it was either middle school or high school. My buddy's parents went out of town and his basement was, was kind of similar. Something like this. I feel um, like the best years of your life was in, Middle school and high school. Uh, they were because I was doing a lot of criminal activity, oh, sir. Geez. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm just. Go well, ahead. I did some wild shit, you know. Go, um, go back. And anyway, so we come down. Yeah, because then you graduate and you're like, oh, this is life. This is fucking whack, you know. The fuck? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I was gonna say is, is so his parents weren't home. He was like, yo, we're gonna have a house party at my spot. And so we come downstairs. He moved there. He's got this one little. <laughs> One little, you know, the disco globe mm. with the lights off and the joints just going around with the music playing, dude. And I just, I got a big kick out of it because he made it, he made it seem like it was going to be like extravagant. Man, nah, man. There's like the red solo cups and then like the one little disco ball on the table and it's just fucking rotating. What the fuck? Dude, I had a blast. And that's when I slept in an empty home. And, Have wait, I ever told you this story? No, no, please. Okay, so... <sighs> Yeah, you're getting fucking messages all day over there. Am I? Yeah, I can hear it. Hold on. Pizza is on the way. We're getting pizza. Yay! Sounds good. Uh, I hate my life. Anyway, um, so this is the same house party. My buddy that lived across the street from me in Lorton, uh, that's where it was, and the guy that lived across the parking lot from him, his family was moving out. Okay? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So I was under the impression that I was going to be able to stay at his house. All right. Cause I told my mom I was spending the night at somebody's house and all this other shit. And so we have the party, you know, people leave and then I'm like, yo, let me, let me crash. Cause my mom's already asleep at this point. Like it's kind of later in the night and I don't have my key. Like, I don't have my house key. Mm-hmm. And so he was like, nah, man, you can't stay here. He's like, my brother's coming home. He's going to bitch. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, well, where the fuck am I going to sleep? And his friend that lives across the parking lot, he was like, well, you can sleep in my house. I was like, there's nothing in there. Like, everything, all the furniture was moved. Well, oh, so you, I don't, maybe I missed this part. They said they were moving? Y- yeah, so oh, they- so the, my friend that was moving was staying with my friend that threw the party. Uh, okay, but his brother knew about that. He was like, yeah, if you come home, there was, if my brother comes home, because his brother's older, mm-hmm. um, he's going to get pissed and, you know, bitch me out and tell my mom. He's like, I don't want to do all that shit. And uh, I, was I, like, got you, got you. I was like, well, where am I going to go to sleep? He was like, well, ask so-and-so who lives across the field, you know, the field in Lorton. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was like, yo, let me let me crash with you. He's like, nah, man. He was like, my mom's still awake. He was like, she'll, she'll get fucking pissed. Um, and I was like, man, where the fuck am I going to sleep at? So the, the guy that's moving was like, well, I still have the key for the house. He was like, you can just sleep in there, but there's literally nothing in the house, like at all. All the furniture, it's like an empty house, pretty much. So I went over there. I unlocked the door. I locked it. I went up to apparently where his parents' bedroom was. I closed that door. I, there's nothing. I took my, my, my jorts off because I was a real thug back then. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Why did you go specifically to that room? Because it was the biggest room. And I could see the front of the house from, from there in case somebody tried to, you know, murder me or something like that. <laughs> so, so I literally take off my, my, my jorts, okay, make a pillow out of them, I fold them up, and I got like this Rolling Stones shirt on, like with Mick Jagger and shit. And I made a pillow, and I just slept there like that. Then I woke up at like 7 in the morning. I hear a knock at the door. And so I put my shorts back on, my shirt on. I walk downstairs, and it's the guy that, you know, lived there. And he's literally standing in the middle of the parking lot and just his boxers. He was like, he was like I think my family's coming. And I was like, I was like, well, thank you for waking me up because if they come in and see just a white man <laughs> in his boxers laying with his fucking jean shorts as what? a pillow. What's, what's a- this is the weirdest fucking story I've ever heard. Dude. Like, there's it, a lot of questions that I have. Sure. Go ahead and ask. And now that I think about it, now I'm telling you the story, I probably could have just knocked on the door and gone home, but I, like, told my mom I was, like, somewhere else, and I didn't want to get in trouble, so. Oh, my God. Uh, so, yeah, let's unpack this. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Huh. 
So the family came home to the house where there had nothing in there anymore. Yeah. Why? I don't know. And why was he in his boxers? I don't know why he was in his boxers. That's what I said. I the, the first thing I said, I said. Did, so, did you ask him why? Why didn't you ask him? I, I did. I was like, where are your pants? <laughs> That's oh, the he knew you were there. Yeah. See, now that you say it like that. Hey, I'm telling you, he knew some young young buck was over there. <laughs> we also once caught this guy pumping his pud, too. Uh, exactly. <laughs> That's I, can't why believe, I, I can't believe I'm telling this you story. You almost got molested. I did not almost get molested. <laughs> yes, Don't did. say that. No. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> what <are> the... <laughs> So anyway, this the, the whole story is fucking weird, right? Um, I'm sorry I told it, but so I basically sl- <laughs> so I slept in an empty house, and I was almost molested. <laughs> oh man! So you would be a different person if that actually. No, nah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let him molest me. We used to. I used to wrestle. Him. <laughs> Dude, I don't. I don't even like using that word. It makes me feel dirty. <laughs> fucking word it's a word but it's like a dirty word it, doesn't it describes mean, exactly what was gonna happen it's to you. Not gonna, i'm not getting molested you fucking cocksucker um so yeah so wait, 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 i don't i'm not gonna use that one on that one but for this guy though i will use it for him the guy who was about to molest you i got news for you <laughs> that means you're gay i guess so <laughs> nah yeah i mean it was dude it was just a wild time man and like uh, I did some some wild shit, dude. But that that was a one of the more just random things that occurred. I thought I was staying at somebody's house, and I ended up sleeping in one across the parking lot in an empty home. That's funny. It it's I have a, a kind of a, a well, I have a different style of house party f- story. Um, one weekend, my mom was going out of town, and this I think I was. I still in high school. Yeah, I was still in high school. I think it was like my junior or senior year. Probably my senior year. Anyway, so I was like, she's out of town. I'm like, fuck it. I invite some people over, have a little party or whatever. So we, I don't know how we got all this fucking alcohol, but we got like Bombay Sapphire, which is horrible. <laughs> hey, man, you can't, if you, you're, when you're a fucking teenager, dude, you, you get what you get, man. That shit was fucking, I was like, this shit tastes like gasoline. Who fucking drinks this <laughs> shit? Who who did before you continue? Whoever created liquor and like just drank it, and they're like, yeah, this is it. They're the fucking devil. First yeah, of all. yeah, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you if you invented li- liquor, motherfucker. Mm. Goddamn. I heard an interesting statistic the other day. I wish I remember what it is. I might have to look it up. Yeah, but it, it was like some crazy amount of um, the the percentage of Americans, or was it globally? Either way who are functioning drug addicts. And when I say drug addicts, I mean, including alcohol, well, alcohol, alcohol is a drug and yeah. weed. Um, but it's like a fucking astounding number of, I people believe it. Yeah. I believe are it. Functioning drug addicts. It is crazy, especially in this area. Cause we've talked about it before. Um, <laughs> as, as much as this area drinks, um, <clears throat> but back to the story. So we got the Bombay Sapphire shit and I forgot two other bottles and, there was a few people. We had, had some girls over, a couple of friends, and we were just fucking chilling. So the party goes off without a hitch. Everybody leaves. So I'm like, well, I need to clean up. So I clean up and vacuum and do everything that's necessary to clean the house up. And my mom comes home, and she's like, uh, why did you vacuum? I'm like, I don't know. I just felt like vacuuming. Damn, dude. She was like, who the fuck was over here? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? I know, nobody was here. We, I, I didn't have nobody here. You're lying because the fu- you don't ever vacuum. <laughs> why would? You, why are you vacuuming? And my yard chairs, because I had pu- pulled the yard chairs out to um, so people could sit down. Yeah. And and she, why are my yard chairs out and, or, or, or like in a different place? And blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, my God. So. I had I was lying like shit the whole time, but it was like the only way she knew is because I cleaned the house. <laughs> <laughs> this is, dude. You know what's crazy? Fuck, man! I can't believe some of the shit that we 
that we did, like, we used to, we used to sit in front of super highs, dude, and wait for somebody to just walk in and buy us booze. Like, we would just ask. Well, I mean, that's all you, only thing you can do. You know, I, what I hate, um, I, I hate when, when kids ask me, like, they, like, I'm like the cool guy, like, they're gonna, like, I'm gonna go in there, I'm not buying you, that's just, first of all, I don't know if you're a fucking, a fed, or working We with got accused fed. of being feds once. Yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna fucking buy you shit, cause you're not taking my ass to jail, cause, for fucking aiding and abetting a minor to get alcohol and shit. Yeah, I, uh, I couldn't do it either, man. It's, you know what? I, I, the, you know, the older I get and the more I think about it, it's like those people that did buy it for us, they're probably some horrible people. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're very horrible oh, people. Yeah, right? you know, I, I got you. I got you. Hey, what you need? A 40, a hurricane, two eleven. So, what I did see uh, at the winery or the beer place we stopped at in Pennsylvania, they had a Steel Reserve strawberry daiquiri. Yeah, why don't you bring any of that back? Because. <laughs> I thought about it, but I was like, if I buy this, like, our levels of ghetto are going, like, this high. Why? Bro. So what? I, man, that's, that was my go-to drink for I'm not a long gonna, time. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm, a two, I'm a 211 guy. When I, was in, when I was in Cali, fucking... Not big on hurricanes, honestly. When I No, no hurricanes mm. kind of taste like shit. Um, when I was in Cali, fucking, they had, it was like a dollar for per uh, steel reserve. So oh. I get for two dollars, dog, it, and I didn't have a lot of money because it's not cheap to live out there, and I was pretty much on my own. So fucking two dollars for two steel reserves, and and I I'm getting fucked up. Yep, yeah, yeah, no, like I'm good. Like I was at a hotel party once, not the one where I jumped out the window, by the way. Um, <laughs> this was a different time, but I had I probably like drank two and a half bottles, not the cans, like the forty ounce Wait, bottles. 40s yeah. of steel reserve. Yeah. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Forties of still reserve. You ate. You drank two bottles of it. I did. I was fucked up. No shit. You probably was on the verge of death. Well, it didn't really. Yeah, I think it, it was. It was something like that. <laughs> so you know what's crazy? Now I kind of regret not buying those. But I was like, man, if we buy these, we're gonna get fucking absolutely trashed. Who? Okay. By by whom? Oh, uh, me and Kevin. And oh, I, I, you mean no? I wanted you to bring some back because I ain't never. I, I want. I want. I wanted to try it too, but I felt so. What is it? It was raspberry. No, no, it's a strawberry. Strawberry, strawberry daiquiri. Strawberry. strawberry daiquiri. Oh, I don't know, dude. That shit will probably get you. It'll get you fucked, fucked up. up. Yeah. So I was like, uh, I was. Like, it was malt, just like the regular joint. Ah, uh, here I actually have the picture in my phone. Let me. Uh, Might have to send it to me so I can post it. So, on a side <laughs> note. 14 years ago today, Halo 3 came out. What in the actual fuck? That's not that long ago. Let's talk about 20 years ago the other day. So what Jared likes to do on my birthday is rib me and send me (laughs) just horrible, horrible pictures. Just on your birthday? (laughs) Well, well, he does it all the time. He's probably doing, he's going to do it later after we stop recording. Um, So I'm taking a shower on my birthday, getting nice and clean. Um, Obviously, I'm not clean currently. I don't. So fresh and so clean. Um, you know, and I get out of the shower, Jared sends me a message. I was like, oh, it's probably a happy birthday message. No, it's fucking 20 years ago on my birthday, Tom Brady played his first official NFL snap, and the rest is history. The goat, the guy with seven rings. I fucking hate you. (laughs) And that's what I literally texted you. I was like, I fucking hate you. Uh, Happy birthday, motherfucker. Yeah. So, well, it, it was on my birthday, so therefore he's great because of me. No, he did. He what? How does that work? I don't know. You're just not going to get me to say it unless he goes to the Super Bowl. Oh, he's going to. He's going. Because it has to happen for this show. It has to happen. No, bro. If he goes to another fucking Super Bowl, I'm not watching football Can't ever again. Wait to see you wearing that. He wants jersey. to play till he's fifty. Now he's fit. Now he wants to go to fifty. Yeah, he said. He said he's open to the idea of it. Could you imagine this? Because last time he said 45, right? Yeah, he's what, 44 right now? 43, 44? Nah, he's not that old. Uh, or is think, he 42? I think he's me and him are the same age. So this is basically another decade, close to a decade, of watching him play football. Hold on, let me... Close to a decade? What the fuck, motherfucker? No, I'm saying, like, from now. Like, if he still plays, like, say he's 42, oh, oh, it's almost oh, like oh. another 10 years of him being in the league, dude. He's 44. You're right. 
Okay, so six years. Okay. Here, let me. I don't think he's gonna play till fifty, though. No, no, I can't see him doing that either. Like, I don't, I don't even know if his wife would let him do that. I mean, she. Well, no, nah, that's why they fucking moved to Florida. Oh, this is true. Okay, because well, she, she was probably tired of the fucking cold, and that's she was like, well, uh, let's get the fuck. Yeah, so, yeah. So these were it right here. These, these strawberry daiquiris. Oh, uh, gotcha. Yeah, so you have to send that to me so I can post it. Yeah, here. Well, I can kind of put it in the. Oh, that's not going to work. Exactly why I said it's no. Nah, but it's uh, the <laughs> it's the Tiki series at dude ten percent. Ten percent. Yeah. Fuck. How much is the regular one? At? I, I think it's the same, dude. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm good. Yeah. Then you know, and that those are pretty sturdy cans. They're not like regular beer cans. They're like kind of like tall boys, so to speak. Yeah. Those those are tall boys. I know. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm done doing that. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, so, uh, what else? Uh, in terms of house parties, what is the... I'll tell you the craziest house party I've ever been to. It was my first house party. And I may have told this story before. I don't know if... Uh, so, for all the listeners out there, you know, forgive me. So, I... So, me... So, this guy we know... His dad had a bar in his basement. Okay, he lived in uh, lived in Lorton. That's what I was. That's, I guess that's what I was got, kind of getting. At. Like the old school people used to have bars in their basement, and then they would have, and they would have the 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 wall the wall. What's that? Shit? The pla- the the wooden wall. Well, yeah, planks or whatever. Yeah, no, no, I know what you're talking about. So, this was our first house party. There was probably like seven or eight of us. Uh, it's within walking distance of my house. We just got to cut through the back of the neighborhood and, you know, go up a street and everything. And I can't remember how we got alcohol, but we did. And, you know, this is back when I wore like my big ass baggy clothes. Okay. So I've got two bottles. So this was five years ago. No, I, no, sir. (laughs) I wore a pizza uniform for 11. So when I first came out in regular clothes, you know how many people walked by me and did not acknowledge me? They're like, oh, RJ, we didn't notice you without your visor. It, that hangs on my wall, by the way. As a Back to the story. Anyway, so we're basically walking through the neighborhood, and we, we stop on a corner, which was, you know, not a good idea, and we're passing around a bottle of uh, fucking Smirnoff because, you know, it's high school. And this guy comes out. Oh, here, let me put that over there so it doesn't do that. This guy comes out of his house with a flashlight. We're fucking drinking in front of a cop's house, dude. All right. Go fucking figure of all the places to stop and drink underage in front of a cop's house, folks. Jeez. So he was like, he was like, hey, I'm going to need you guys to pour this shit out. And, you know, and he's got his flashlight and he's looking at all of us. He's like, you guys got anything else on you? And bro, Jared, I have two big ass bottles in my pockets. Okay. They literally fit in my pocket. That's how baggy my fucking jeans were. Um, I was kind of a douchebag. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. But what, what, what happened with the bottle? Oh, okay. So he was like, lift your shirt up. So I lifted my shirt up. He was like this. He was like, all right, you're good. Dude, he had no idea I had two bottles of alcohol. <laughs> That's how baggy my pants were. So he let us go. He was like, get the, you know, get out of here. And so we, you know, keep on walking. We go down the street, go to the house party, and it was packed in this house, bro. Uh, his, the guy's dad was there. Okay, he's the one. He was like, "Yeah, invite your friends over." He, yeah, they're, uh, I believe, uh, Bolivian mm-hmm. and whatnot. So he was cool with it. We go downstairs. They got the music playing and everything, and we proceed to get, you know, pretty, pretty twisted, you know. And a buddy of mine was, uh, he passed out in the laundry room, like he, like, like on his stomach, like face down. And I was like, "Man, he's fucked up." I was like, "We got to get him home." And he's a football player. He's a big dude, you know. And so. When he, I was worried about somebody stealing his wallet, because mm. uh, you could kind of see the imprint on, like, in his jeans. So I took his wallet out just to keep it safe, and we left him in there because, you know, he was fucked up. So we proceed to party and everything, and then he comes back upstairs, maybe 30, 40 minutes later, and he's got on a Timberland boot that's not his, and and then his <laughs> sock. And he was like, where's my... He, put, he took this shit out of the fucking laundry room? Dude, I don't... I have... No, so, I, I don't know. So, he literally comes upstairs. He was like, yo, where's my other boot? I was like, bro, these aren't your shoes. <laughs> I was like, where are your shoes? He was like, no, these are mine. I was like, bro, these are... He was fucked up, dude. I was like, no, these... 
these are not your boots, man. Where did you get these? He was like, yeah, I was fucking some bitch. I was like, no, dude, you were... <laughs> I was like, dude, he, he was like, I was fucking some bitch and she took my boot. And I was like, no, nobody stole your boot. I was like, you came with a pair of airs on and you were passed out in the laundry room for first, like. First of all, were, were there women at this party? Yeah, yeah. there were, Yeah, but he was not having sex with a woman. He was face <laughs> down on the cement uh, in a laundry was room. Was he talking to one previously before he passed out? I don't know. Maybe he really thought he was going to get them drawn. Yeah, I guess. Guess. But dude, he was like upset. And I was like, nah, bro, we got it. So I can't remember. And then there was a girl on the stairs um, getting, like, uh, played with. I'll use that verbiage. Um, <laughs> well, you want to use the word we used before? No. No, she was, like, allowing it. It wasn't, uh, like, yeah, yeah, it wasn't. So, she was like consensual basically, she, molestation. She, she was getting basically figured, like, on the stairs. And I'm just, like, walking by, and I'm like, well, this is fucking weird. You know, like. <laughs> you should have asked to join. Do you know what's crazy? He might be right, but um, but I did not because I was too concerned about carrying this drunk ass football player home. You were concerned about the wrong thing, sir. Yeah, but he was dying. All right, no, he, he had wasn't. he had a boot on that I don't know where he got it from, and where I don't you? know where his shoes went. To each his own. So I don't think we ever found his shoes. So thank God the guys I were with, one of them is a big sturdy dude. We had to carry this guy. From one corner of Lorden to another. And, oh, my God, that was a, a task in itself. Why, did, why, 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 didn't he, why couldn't he just go to sleep there? Uh, I don't know. I guess his dad didn't want people staying there. I, dude, I don't know. We're in high school. I can't. I, can't mm. I just remember. Well, he was like, well, we had to take him home. Okay. Oh. Anyway, we finally get him in his house. Drag his ass downstairs, and we throw him on his bed. And then, you know, we leave. We walk back across the street to my house. And we all sleep on my, like, living room floor. And this was my first experience with a hangover. And it was also Super Bowl Sunday. Ooh. So, I felt like someone smashed me in the head with a hammer, dude. I was like, oh, I was like, what the fuck is... I can't remember what we were drinking. But it was what we did. But that is by far probably... My first house party was probably one of the wildest. Um, just because of everything that was, like, occurring. And, dude, there were so many people in this one little townhouse in Lorton, bro. You know how those houses aren't overly big? Yeah. It, well, it depends on where you're at. This is true. But, yeah. So, that's uh, that's another just wild story from my youth. And he's got plenty of them, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know. Plenty of them. Maybe I should say. Dude, dude is Tom Brady? Can you? The greatest? What? No. Will you just take that down, please? What? Do you, what? Oh, you wanted me to look up something else? Yeah. Here, look up. Uh, what do we have for time? Just out of curiosity. No no big deal. Uh 109. 109? I was going to say, I was going to talk to you about, I guess, that uh, those blizzard allegations that mm -hmm. we were talking about last night. Mm -hmm. Go, you ahead. Want, you, Go ahead. So, basically, the women at Blizzard, for those that don't know what Blizzard is, it is a a, a gaming producer. Um, well, it's Activision. Act Activision, yeah, Blizzard. Um, and whatnot. And, basically, the women... Are they're they're on strike, correct? Or is it no, just they're the women? suing? They're suing. Okay, Be, excuse me, because the men are getting paid more than them for doing. I'm assuming uh, obviously the same amount of work. Is that is that correct? Yeah. Okay. What do you what do you take that as? What do you mean? What do I take it as? I mean, like what? So let me ask you this. Here's a, here's a headline from The Verge. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Yeah, here, but yeah. As lawsuits pile up, hold on, I got I to gotta do a couple things first. Damn, switching and shit. As lawsuits pile up, Blizzard loses its chief legal officer. Better time at the company was full of unexpected twists and turns. So, here, yeah. Let's see, let's see. Let me take my glasses off so I can kind of read that. Yeah, read that. Other high-end Activision employees left the company. Friday, September 17th. The past three years have been full of unexpected twists and turns, but I feel honored to have worked with and so many great people at Blizzard across the Activision Blizzard business. These unexpected twists and turns might be an allusion to the series of troubles Activision faces due to allegations of harassment, abuse, and discrimination to date. So this is towards women, correct? Like these... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Unfair said, labor practices. We said discrimination. We don't know if it's discrimination in terms of yeah. a, 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 you know 
ethical, um, you know, and things in the press release. So, yeah, the, I guess you were saying last night that this has been going on for years with them, or at least a uh, No, well, I'm just saying, like, certain. So, um, before Red Dead, or a little after Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, mm-hmm. Rockstar was accused of not this stuff, but overworking people, like oh. extremely overworking people in order to meet the the deadline for the game's release. Mm-hmm. Um, and there, I don't know if there was any lawsuits or anything, but a lot of people left the company and it was just a big shit show um, and whatnot. So this doesn't no new games for Rockstar, uh, dude. Well, they haven't. I mean, it took them ten years to make that game. Yeah, I know. It was a hell of a game. It's an incredible game. If for those who have not played it and whatnot, and uh, hold on, I can put that back what on. About uh, yeah, when, uh, aren't they still working on a, a Grand Theft Auto, or did that get back burner because of all this shit? No, 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 no. So the thing with Grand Theft Auto, so the thing with Grand Theft Auto Five, it came out in 2013. Okay, the game has been through three console generations, mm-hmm. and it's been released. So it's original. Motherfuckers are still making money on Facebook uh, playing that. Game. Yeah, it's 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 nuts. That L L was it L L L S D R P D or some shit. It's, Los Santos Police Department. Yeah, um, they. Uh, there's a mod you can get, which I, I I don't know if I talked about it before, um, that you can get to where you can play as a as the cops. So you pull people over, or you do set speed traps and fucking uh, arrest people and go on calls and you talk to dispatch and like, hey dispatch, uh, I'm I'm available for calls, whatever. That's fucking sick, dude. It, it's pretty cool. I was gonna do it. But it's only for PC, uh, but there's there's like several people who that's all they do on. Um, on Facebook is stream or, or yeah, stream that. Yeah. And I'm like, these motherfuckers are making money. Yeah, dude. Uh, some, some streamers, um, or even YouTubers, especially YouTubers, man, uh, make extraordinary, uh, I wouldn't say extraordinary. They make some, a nice chunk of coin, so to speak, um, with their, with their footage and everything. Um, what I was going to say, so with Grand Theft Auto six, I don't know. There's, you know, they they always put out these little teasers. Like Rockstar's very cryptic with with certain things because that's that's how they've always been. I would say the last kind of hint of Grand Theft Auto Six, Rockstar basically put. <laughs> I know this is going to sound crazy. They put coordinates on their Twitter account, mm-hmm. and if you type in the coordinates, it's in the mountains of West Virginia. Mm-hmm. Okay, and if you zoom all the way in, I know this is wild. The road kind of looks like a six. All right, so it alludes to that it might take place in the hill, like, you know, out in the country, like mm-hmm. with, with, like I guess, like meth and all that other shit that might be prominent there. You know, I don't know, but that's the last I've heard about it. In the hills of West Virginia, do you get to drive past D.C. and all that shit? I, I don't know. Like, we don't know shit. Like, mm-hmm. but that is, they, they just do stuff like that to, 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 to fuck with people. Now, that's an interesting, that would be an interesting one if they did a Grand Theft Auto Washington D.C. or whatever it is. Oh, that would be dope. Yeah. I mean, I'm, what would they uh, call that? Capital city. I mean, why not, dude? Grand Theft Auto, Capital, Capital city. city. I mean, Vice City is obviously Miami. Um, Liberty city. city is New York, and then uh, what is it? Um, San Andreas is California. Yeah, I like, yeah, yeah. I like so. Capital City. That's yeah, a, that's a. You know what? Fucking Rockstar, do a D.C. version for us. For us DCians. Yeah, just leave out 95, and please. let me put... No, that's part of no, it. Yeah, no, leave no. the traffic in there, too. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, but they didn't have traffic like that in San Andreas. No, 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 no. I mean, they put... You know, it's... Uh, obviously, generates... It's like, you know... Uh, what is what is the word? They they have it like... There are certain things that are set that reoccur over time. But um, they have to give you the open freedom as well, unless there's like a mission-specific... It's like, oh, this is happening within this mission. But when you're in the open world, you know, you're not going to, you might see some clutter in traffic. So like, let's, let's talk about what, okay. So let's talk about what Grand Theft Auto Capital City would look like. Like, what is the story? Okay. So, um, well, it's, it's always drugs related. Um, uh, maybe, but since cocaine, cocaine, cocaine um, cause there's a lot what, of what, around here, uh, crooked politicians. Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's a good one. Um, dealing in drugs, deal, dealing in drugs. Uh, there's a lot, man. I mean, you got the Harbor, we got all sorts of shit, dude. Mm. The DMV area, the wharf. the wharf, 
Yeah, there's a lot of prominent locations that they obviously they would they have to modify. Yeah, they could you know obviously modify. I think we just came on to a fucking billion dollar idea. Rockstar, you heard it here first. Grand Theft Auto, Capital City is the next one. Do it. If it happens, I'll give you twenty bucks. No, if it happens, they're gonna give us more than twenty bucks. Two hundred twenty million dollars. Nah, I don't need all that. I don't even know what I would do. So the Powerball is like at, right now is at like five hundred and eighty-three million. Bucks. Every time it gets big, that's when everybody plays it. It's like, what the fuck is the point? I, I, it'd be nice, but dude, in, in reality, it's fuck? not going to happen. Dude, what the fuck if would you do with all that money, bro? I, mm, that is a shitload of bread. You know what I would do? Whatever the fuck I want. Well, that, I, I, that's a good answer because that's really all I want to do anyway. Is whatever the fuck I want to do. I don't, I don't, yeah. But I, I don't have full freedom to do that. You know what I'm saying? I Recently, I have created more of that freedom, but I need to, there's another piece of that that will create even more freedom. Well, money does allow you to do things. Yeah. It's crazy, man. The world is fucking, I don't know. Getting older, it's like, man, you need money for fucking everything. I hate it. Yeah. I mean, we're, we live in a capitalistic uh, society. Yeah. I mean, I get it. It's, it's never going to change. Yeah. Well, so glad, let me. Um, glad you weren't on camera when that. Uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I know. I just probably made the most ugliest face. I was like yawning with like my head like tilted I like know, a fucking. Now that I have my own camera, I got to sit straight up. Dude. Yeah. Hold on. Like, try to crack my neck uh, or stretch um, it. I don't know what he's doing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> sorry. Maybe they can hear me crack my neck. Oh, I cracked it and you. I cracked it and you played the tuba. Yeah, I heard it. They uh, heard it. Okay, maybe I do the other side. Oh, Jesus. The fuck you got in there? I don't crunch know. berries, motherfucker? Dude. Two weeks in a row, crunch berries comes up. Dude, uh, crunch berries is... Huh? It's a, it's a great cereal. She. You don't like Captain Crunch with crunch berries? No, I love it. Oh, okay, <laughs> I was going to say, come on, man. But it was just a good, appropriate time. No, was yeah, I was going to say, it's, 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 it might be my favorite cereal, to be honest with you. Nah, son. Okay, what's the best cereal? Mm. I don't know. I, I I like a lot of cereals. I like Frosted Flakes. I like okay, Apple Frosted. Jacks. I like Fruit Loops. I like. Uh, did you Did you ever like Corn Pops? Max. Uh, I I did for a second. Yeah, but I don't know. They're, they're kind of plain. Yeah. So a really good one. Um, I used to uh, I used to get Waffle Crisp. Did you like Waffle Crisp? Which one is waffle crisp? It's it. Well, they they're like little waffle squares, and they would like with cinnamon and everything. Nah. Uh, cinnamon toast crunch is that's, another really good that's, one. That's probably top three. Uh, dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. Frosted fucking Cheerios are incredible. I like mm, no, no, I I like frosted. I'm Cheerios. Not a big. I like if I'm gonna eat Cheerios, just honey nut Cheerios. I started to appreciate that more as I got older. When you get older, older yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, Same thing with like basic four. I'd be like, basic four. Like, okay, here's a deal breaker right here. What about Raisin Bran? I like Raisin Bran. I, I do, too. Okay. Uh, uh, recently, I've been eating... The, what's the one? It's a good source of fiber. Yeah. As my oh, grandfather... sure. As my grandmother likes to say, they'll make you shit. <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> you saw my face. Oh, for sure. sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking grabbing the side like, thank you, Grandma! Like, you know, like... <laughs> uh, fucking... Uh, the one I've been recently eating is the... It's like... Vanilla something like it has it, they they've been sprucing them up over the years. There's like like a cinnamon one, and then there's like one with vanilla crunch or some shit. I think that's what it's called, vanilla crunch. Vanilla crunch. Huh. It's pretty good though, but it's uh it's brazen brand with vanilla crunch shit in it. That sounds. It's pretty I'm good. Will, I'm I'm willing to try that. But um, what is a? Were you big on like Count Chocula at all? No, for some reason, growing up, that one did not appeal to come you. In, no, it didn't. It just didn't come into the house. I don't no. know. Maybe it wasn't on sale or some. Um, the ones that I remember the most shit. I remember before Crunch Berries was even a thing. It was like, it was just Captain Crunch back when I was eating that shit. Okay, it was, it was just the the little yellow thing. Yeah. Um. Then later on, they came out with Crunch Berries, and then that became the fucking beast. Um. I'm trying to remember. 
Yeah, chalk, Count Chocula and, and, and all that was big when I was, because I, I, I'm, I'm just recalling when I was super young, we were living over on Cherry Hill off of Route 1. And, yeah, I, I was young then. I just remember. <laughs> I was young then. I just remember <laughs> Captain Crunch, would, and then I remember when Crunch Berries came out. And I remember somebody, and I remember the, all the commercials for like Count Chocula, yeah. and because uh, there's like a whole group of those cereals, like it's Count Chocula and Cocoa Boo, Puffs, Boo Berries. Oh, Boo Berries! Yeah, I remember yeah. the Boo Berries. Yeah, and I forgot what the other one, but it was like all those were there. There was commercials with them all together. All right, and I guess the but I just remember that shit, and but Reef- I, I never got into those though. Yeah, no, nah, I think the only chocolate cereal I was into was Reese Puffs. Um, Reese Puffs? What the fuck? You've never had Reese Puffs? Oh, like, like Reese's the, Pieces? Yeah. Or like Reese's? Yeah. No, I'm not, never a big fan of those. I don't uh, know. Uh, well, no, well, they had I'm, the I was, I, was, I was kind of afraid to try new shit. Nah, well, I mean, I was picky when I was a kid, too, so. Mm. Um, so then you got Trix. Um, Trix was a big one. Um, I remember then, that one. And then Lucky Charms. Tricks are for kids. Yes. Uh, Lucky Charms. That is uh, one of my top threes. Okay, I I was I was like really big on like eating the cereal and then just eating all and the have marsh- the marshmallows, marshmallows at the end. end. Yeah, and then yeah. The, the 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 sugary the milk, milk at the end. Man, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, we we, we they fed us fucking sugar like a mother. Dude, that's, that's why, why I, we're I, fat. I, that's why everyone's fat in this fucking country. Yeah, I know, no bullshit. It was cool though. <sighs> As we both take sips of beers. I know, I know. So we get off one sh- one fucking addicting thing to another. Yeah, that's going to... Well, I'm going to... In a month, I'm going to be just jacked like Arnold Schwarzenegger. What? Speaking of that, what's up with that uh, that bench that you were supposed to order? It's uh, coming soon. Are they st- Is there still a shortage of gym equipment like, there, like no. there was during COVID? No. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, like... Well, yeah, people gym, couldn't go, so... Yeah, they couldn't go to the gym, so they would buy No, so it. I held off on ordering it because, I, I, I'm i not going to lie to you, I th- like, I showed it to my mom, and she was like, oh, send me a picture of it. You know, this is like two weeks before my birthday, so I thought she might have bought it for my birthday. Mm. Uh, she did buy me my Steelers jersey. That was my gift. So, and then I got, you know, a hug, and then, and you know... Dude, you're... you're I know, you're, I'm 33 years old. Yeah. It's fine. I, I, I wasn't expecting anything anyway. It's fine. Uh, so I thought maybe she might get it for me, but she didn't. So next week when I get paid, I'm going to go ahead and order it. What are you getting? Just, uh, just, just a bench, dude. Bench with the 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 legs uh, and the curl thing on the attached to the front to it. <laughs> Actually, we just got rid of one at my mom's house. If I had known, I would have fucking... Well, I had one for years. I kept the weights for it, though. I didn't, I, I did, the bench was, it was taking up too much space, man. So, so the thing is, is mine wasn't taking up space. Like, but when I moved out and moved down into my apartment in Woodbridge, then it was taking up too much space. So I, I, I sold it. Like, I sold it to somebody. Yeah. Cause I didn't, I, we literally had nowhere to put it. And it's like, man, fuck. Like, yeah, like, my, my mom had a, she had a treadmill down there forever. And then that weight bench. And I remember when she bought the weight bench, it was like fucking late eighties, early nineties. And it was just sitting down there forever. No, but I do. I, I know this is like, you know, that's a commitment kind of thing. I do fully intend on using it and not letting it, you know, sit and collect dust. But I found a decent one for like 220 bucks. Um, and whatnot. I'm gonna have to obviously go somewhere and buy some weights. And you don't even need a, a bench, though. To be honest, all you need is a set of dumbbells. Oh, I've got. Oh, I've got some dumbbells upstairs. Then just use those. No, nah, I, I still want to get a bench, though. I do. Why? Because I do. No, I, I'm, I'm asking. I'm curious. To, to, to I don't know. I just feel like because you can do, you can accomplish the same thing. The only thing you can't do is actual bench press. Yeah. But I mean, there's other exercises you can do. Push ups for that. Yeah, that's this is true. This is no, true. you can do. No, here's what's happening. You're using getting the bench as an excuse not to get started. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I'm still drinking too. I was kind of waiting till. Oh, till wait, so, 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 so yeah, yeah. So oh, that, that's what I want to talk. Uh, I want to talk about. So we're doing sober October. Yep. Um, in October, obviously. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Now, 
do we want to do some kind of challenge besides drinking? What What do you have in mind? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I was that. I, 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 that's why. I'm well, asking like you. when? Yeah. Well, I guess when you so say let's, challenge, let's say, let's say like um, I don't know. Uh, Joe Rogan, Tom Segura, Burt Kreischer, and R. Shafir, when they do theirs, they they have like who does the most something or okay. Um, I think the last. I don't think they did it last year, but the year before they did, and they're, they're probably going to do it again this year, is um, uh, getting 15 hot yoga classes in within the month, which apparently is hard to do because you got a, a busy schedule and all that shit. Yeah. You know? um, have, you thought about doing, have you thought about doing yoga? I, I, yeah, I, I want to. Um, actually, I did find a place up uh, from Duke. Um when I was taking that comedy class, uh, I, I, I do want to do it because I know there, there's benefits to it, but, um, basically it, it has to be some kind of challenge to help better ourselves. Okay. And whether it be physical or mental. So, what if, um, man, okay. Now you got me thinking. And the listeners, if you guys have any suggestions. Yeah, yeah, please that, throw something at us. Put that in the comments. And if you want to join in with Sober October with us, let us know. Yeah, so we don't feel so alone. Yeah. What if it's like, don't, you can't have a certain, like, food or, or. Uh, I think that's, I don't think that's, yeah, raising, good. raising the bar no, high no, Okay, uh. I mean, it's got to be something that's hard. Like, it's going to be hard enough not drinking. Oh, I know. Number one. And, I don't know. Because I'm still going to be going to jiu-jitsu. Yeah. So, uh, Well, you have, like, like this uh, department kind of held down, obviously, way better than I do in terms of fitness. Um so I'm trying to think. Well, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I, I, I obviously brought a question that I do not have an answer to right now. Okay. But, uh, but I'll, I will think about it. Because, uh, dude, yeah, next, damn, Friday is October 1st. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, so. What in the actual fuck? Yeah, this year's flying by. It's, it has been flying by. And you know what I haven't brought up this whole show? These nuts? No, God, fuck it. Why does everybody say that? <laughs> because it's funny. It's not fun. It's it's it's. I feel like it's only me that they say. Like a, a young cashier I work with, she was like, "What's up?" I was like, "What's up?" She's like, "These nuts, RJ," and I'm like, "What the fuck?" I'm like, "How dare you speak to me that way, child? I will end you." But um, <laughs> I, it's, it's did like, she listen to the show? No, it's just so random. It's like lately, and then I went out and talked to a technician, and he said the same shit. Sorry, I wanted to stretch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. You wanna you wanna call time? Yeah, I guess so we're at one thirty plus the whatever the little thing we had earlier. All right, that's fine. So, cause I <laughs> we we're talking about health. I'm gonna go upstairs and eat a slice of pizza now, like a fucking tart ass, like a fat boy. Um, I'll try not to eat pizza for the whole month. Uh... That for me, I can do it. It's re- it might not be that hard, but on occasion I do have a slice. Mm. Okay, well, we'll, we'll think, think about we'll it. Think, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll think, think, think about it. it. So with uh, that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to episode 106. Yes, 106 episodes of the Mad Scientist Lab podcast. I think people think you're blind. They probably do think I'm blind. Do you, you like doing this shit. Well... The new setup is fucking with my head too, Jared. <laughs> okay, I'm so used to you sitting here, and then I, well, I still sit in the same spot, but you're like over there. The cameras are over there. Anyway, 106 episodes <laughs> of the Mad Scientist Lab podcast. As always, it is I, RJ, the pizza guy, along with Jared, the visual mad scientist, and our good friend Oliver that is always hanging out with us. Um, until next week, folks, uh, we will oh, we'll be sober on the next show. Oh shit! Yeah, so Ugh, and uh, and uh, and again, uh, that very, escalated quickly. Yeah, and very big thank you to again everybody that celebrated my birthday with me. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. We 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 know. 
What? I'm just being appreciative, we sir. We know. Uh, don't forget, uh, well, I only have a couple left, but you can get the shirts. I'll, I'll try to put them on the website this week. If you see me in public and you want one or you want one, just, like, arrange how to get one with me. I think I only have two XL and smalls left, so. Uh, holla. 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 It's murder. Oh, God. I won't do that again. I'm sorry. He's weird. I'm very weird. Dude, You, I just told you I slept in an empty house, and you apparently said I was almost molested. He did come to the door without any pants on, though. He doesn't know he's still on camera. Oh, shit. Okay. So, I'm going to get up. I'm going to hit you so hard, you won't see nothing. Ever. 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 You can't have an opinion on something that you haven't even tried. Exactly. The the merit scientist blurred. The the merit scientist blurred. Red Slime Twist Blurred Red Slime Twist Blurred